So in this video, we'll continue our discussion on the method of Gaussian elimination to solve a linear system. And I've already written our system in terms of a matrix form. And you can see now there are actually three equations. And we know that there are three unknowns to solve for because you actually have three columns on the left-hand side of the matrix form. And if you recall the key fact about the Gaussian elimination, you have to try to make um, all the numbers below the diagonal zero by some row operations and now it is very good and to follow our procedure from the last video this spot is already zero so there's nothing to do on um, this first number in the row two but um, which means that um, our first step is to make uh, the last spot the bottom left corner zero and you see because this number is zero on the row two we cannot use the row two for the row operation to make it zero and to make it zero, we can only use row one. But now it is clear because you see row one actually has three also. So I think the easiest way is to do row three minus row one to make it zero because row three, three minus three is going to be zero, right? And uh, let's do it together. So you see, because now I'm not changing the first two lines. So um, I'm just copying what we have in the first matrix. And now the last line is you have to do the row operation R3 minus R1. And as we have seen here, it's going to be 3 minus 3, which is 0 for this spot. And let's look at the second column. You see this number is going to be uh, row 3, which is 5, minus the R1, which is 1. So it's going to be 4, right? And how about the last spot? The last spot is going to be 7 minus row 1, which is 2, right? So it's going to be 5. And how about the number? on the right hand side here so it's gonna be five row three minus row one means we have to uh, subtract five subtract four from five so it's gonna be one you see basically uh, at this stage uh, we are pretty successful and two out of the three spots are zero already so we have to make this last one zero so you see now to make this four zero you cannot use the row one at all because if you use the row one, you're going to change this number to something non-zero. But it's not something we want to do because we want to keep these two fixed as zero, which means at this step, you can change this one to zero only by using row two for certain row operations. So I think now it's pretty obvious, you see, because four and four are the same, so we can actually use row three minus row two, right? Because if I use row three minus row two, it's gonna be four minus four, it's gonna be zero. And that's what we want. And of course, first of all, we can write the first two lines. They are not changed. And now it is zero after doing row three minus row two. And for this spot, I do row three minus row two. So five minus five is going to be zero again. And how about the last number? You see the last number of row three minus row two, one minus six is going to be minus five, right? So um, it means what first? We have successfully uh, made this three spot zero, and you can now write it in terms of a system of three equations now. So you see, basically, now you're having this system if you try to explicitly write down the variables x, y, z. And the last equation usually is the starting point of our backward substitution. However, now the fact is that the coefficient attached to the z is zero, right? It means the left-hand side is actually zero. You can see, because you see the whole left-hand side all have the zero as a coefficient for all the variables. However, the right-hand side is non-zero, right? The right-hand side is non-zero. So you are having a solution like zero equals non-zero, which of course makes no sense at all, right? So it means what? You are now having an updated system in the matrix form which actually does not make sense because, of course, we understand zero cannot be equal to minus five, right? So basically, it means that uh, this system is not consistent in the sense that there's no solution at all in this system when, when you're arriving at something which is nonsensical, right? So let's write down the final conclusion here. So we basically say that this system actually is inconsistent. It has no solution in X, Y, Z.